Hi friends, welcome to UGC Net Online Pre Coaching. Already have discussed in December 2004, first uh, part 1 to 4 means question number 1 to question number 40. Today I will discuss last lecture of this series, uh, December 2005. Uh, we will see question number 41. The testing of software against SRS is called acceptance testing, re integration testing, regression testing and series testing. First of all, we will see what is uh, a definition of all the testings. First one is integration testing. It is also called as integration and testing abbreviated INT. It is a phase in software testing in which individual software modules are combined and tested as a group. It occurs after unit testing and before validation testing means it occurs before unit testing and uh, uh, sorry after unit testing and before validation testing. Next one acceptance testing in engineering it various sub disciplines acceptance testing is a test conducted to, to determine if the requirement of a specification or conduct are met. It may involve chemical test, physical test and performance test. So this is called acceptance test. Regression test is the type of software testing that seeks to uncover new software bugs and regressions in existing functional and non-functional areas of the system after changing such enhancements, patches or configuration changes have been made to them. Now we will see what is SRS. System requirement specification is a description of software system to be developed lying out functional and non-functional requirements and may include a set of use cases that describe the interactions the users will have with the software. So what is integration testing? Integration testing uh, sorry, uh, software requirement specification is a description of software systems to develop lying out functional and non-functional requirements. May include set of users and describe the interactions with the user will have the same, will have the software. Means in this looking all the definitions and uh, SRS will come to the conclusion is for this question answer is a acceptance testing this acceptance testing is a conducted to the determine if the requirement specification conducted met or in all actually this one uh, regression it is related to software requirement specification and integration testing because functional non-functional here but only acceptance testing is the against of SRS so it is question is against of srs it's not uh, for for srs so the answer is a the lower degree of cohesion is logical cohesion coincidental cohesion procedural cohesion communic communicational cohesion actually as like in the previous videos in last lecture videos i have explained what is coupling and their um, uh, means uh, their degrees today same as cohesion I will explain uh, order of cohesion from high degree to low degree actually this is low degree co uh, coincidental cohesion logical temporal procedural communicational sequential and functional so order of cohesion from high to low this one now what is the question the lower degree of cohesion is lower degree is coincidental means what co answer number B but next time it may ask question what is the higher degree so be careful uh, or it may be it may ask in between so be, be careful about uh, uh, almost one question related to cohesion and coupling in every exam so be careful these two concepts in software engineering the reliability of the software is directly depend upon this is same question asked in question number 43 in December 2004 in means in December 2004 lecture number 5 part 5 I have explained in detail what is reliability of software who already you are a subscriber of my channel you know the what is the answer of this question for the new user just go to my previous videos and uh, look at my previous videos okay 
now uh, for this question already i have explained in part 5 of december 2004 so answer is number of errors present that is uh, depends directly reliability of the software so look at uh, question number 44 successive layer of design and software using bottom up design is called actually layer of refinement layer of construction layer of abstraction actually you know uh, layer of refinement and uh, layer of abstraction and construction this is related to bottom up and approach okay? it may be top down approach this is question be careful this is a bottom up approach this is the answer is abstraction actually refinement is the top down process so while answering this type of question be careful that is abstraction what is abstraction the use of strictly layered software is good software engineering practice and is quite common in certain software areas operating system themselves have a long tradition of layering starting with the small kernel and building up functionality means it start building up bottom to top layer by layer communication software hardware is also confirms to a well defined layering that's why layer layer of abstraction is a bottom of process design if you want more about this one just go to this link just refer and just click this one you'll get a more detail about this question so for this question answer is c sliding sliding window concept of a software project management sliding window concept is preparation of comparis comprehensible plan preparation of the various stages of development ad hoc planning requirement analysis this is sliding window concept if you know uh, in depth you can answer easily this one is answer is b sliding window is based on the premise that you should only plan in a detail as far ahead as in as is sensible at the time there are managers who try to plan a project minute details from the beginning to end hoping to eliminate uncertainty this is not possible a detailed plan takes a lot of time and effort to develop and maintain a plan that too detailed too far ahead will simply consume resources and become inflexible but what i'm trying to explain this one sliding window concept it is used for a preparation of various stages of development in a means while developing a software it needs various stages to develop a software that one answer is b sliding window concept it is preparation of various stages of development look at 46th question which of the following tran transmission media is used to bluetooth te technology radio links microwave links vsat communication fiber optic you know you can easily strike out this is one this is wired microwaves and vsat and radio links but uh, these two are the it's not links this is uh, they ask a technology so it is a radio technology bluetooth technology is used in radio links so uh, this is what is radio links bluetooth technology it is works on a in a small area of wireless communication so if you want more about this, this is a uh, current trend in technology question if you know you can answer directly no need of much knowledge it's just common sense answers so if you want more about this question just go through this link okay now answer is a which of the following edi standards ncx15 ncx14 ncx13 and ncx12 edi formats now look at what is edi electronic data interchange is an electronic communication method that provides standards ex exchanging data via any electronic mean electronics means by the same standard two different companies or organization even in two different countries can electronic exchange documents uh, like uh, sifting and many others in or sometimes purchasing orders okay edi has existed for more than 30 years and there are many edi standards including x12 edi fact and ode tte etc some of which are address the needs of a specific industries or regions 
it is working edi standard working for last 30 years electronic data interchange standard so x12 is the first uh, it is a standard uh, for related to our question which of the following is the edi standard here and c x12 is the edi standard okay answer number d it's not uh, 13 15 12 uh, sorry uh, 13 15 14 it is answer is 12 analysis of large data base to retrieve information is called actually this is online transaction processing online analytical processing this is uh, data processing and uh, transaction processing now look at uh, these two are the unrelated for this question uh, c and d so you may get a confusion online analytical pro processing or online transaction processing now analysis of large database to retrieve information is called either a or b if you are already studied data values and data mining you can come to the option either 50 50 so in, in this um, in uh, net and grid exams it is uh, uh, you need a lot of smart work because hard work also important but smart work is better than hard work because sometime question itself there is answers so be careful while answering be careful while reading the questions first you try to understand the question in detail then try to answer because sometime before looking the options try to answer your question in your uh, own way then look at the answer once you look at the options you get a confusion so uh, the analysis uh, the question is the large database retrieve information retrieval only possible in online analytical processing it's not in transaction process transaction it needs to update but not retrieve so uh, this is the um, uh, just the difference between online analytical processing and online transaction processing just to go through it in detail uh, i hope you understood this question if you have any query just uh, mail me or just comment in youtube comment box uh, in remote places in uh, rural areas if you're facing internet problem already I have, I have told you last video lecture i will provide you in cd all the videos if you want really our aim is to just my all viewers just clear december 2015 exam that's my aim so i need your cooperation also i am ready to help you in any time uh, please feel free to ask any help any type in i already have sent many of you uh, sent their mail id i have sent e e material and all if you want any study material any particular subject just mail me i can reply okay look at uh, question number 49 the cost of the network is usually determined actually this is sorry question number 48 uh, just there is a correction question number 48 in december 2005 5 same question it is asked in 2004 december 2004 question number 48 this is 49th question in december 2005 the cost of the network already have explained in uh, december 2004 part 5 lecture series what is the cost of the network how they will determine in detail in uh, that video just go through it okay this is switching uh, based on switching complexity it is determined i have explained in detail in that uh, in december 2004 part 5 video just go through it okay the mechanism which several users can share a medium without interface inter reference is means what the mechanism of uh, which several users can share a single medium without interference means without uh, interfering so that is called frequency modulation it's not just adding additional frequency for the signal it is unrelated amplitude modulation that is also modulation technique this is uh, adding extra amplitude for the signal it is uh, these two are the no, unrelated for this question multiplexing multiplexing is the combination of uh, signals actually 
the telecommunication and computer network multiplexing is the method by which multiple analogy message signals or digital data streams are combined into one si signal over a shared medium actually today's tv uh, cable and telephones and all works on the basis of multiplexing technique because in single cable we are getting 200 uh, tv channels because of multiplexing technique for example in first cable it uh, um, allocated 1 to 10 hertz of frequency then it needs some uh, some uh, uh, in between some additional uh, frequency ranges then allocate next signal that is called multiplexing technique the technique where several users use the medium simultaneously without interference that is called minimum inter uh, without interference or sometime it needs some without interference that is called c multiplexing the mechanism which several users can share a medium without interference that is called option is c okay thank you viewers if you please subscribe the channel share it uh, come if um, just if you have any queries just comment in comment box if you have um, please subscribe the channel and uh, if you watched this video in 100 views i will make a next videos so please uh, forward uh, and uh, please inform your friends also thank you